Hello, today we are on the prose portion of our book Flamingo and the chapter that we are going to do today is chapter number 3 Deep Water by William Douglas. Well, deep water itself has a lot of meaning here. The title of this chapter, the story that the author is going to tell us and we will discuss this as we go on. So chapter number 3, Deep Water by William Douglas. When we begin with chapter number 3, we must realize that it is an autobiographical tale by the author and when we say autobiographical we mean that it is from the life of the author himself so author is telling us a story an episode or his own experience uh, which uh, has added something to his life or which has changed his life and he writes about it because he also wants that story that episode and that experience to influence the life of the reader so this is an experience which is life changing from the author's life uh, being narrated by the author himself. So the story begins when the author is 10 or 11 year old boy and he lived in Yakima uh, which is a place in USA and he says that he enrolled himself to the YMCA pool and uh, obviously since he has enrolled himself it means that he wanted to learn swimming so that is why he enrolled himself to this pool of YMCA in Yakima USA where he used to live and at that time his age was 10 to 11 year old and he says that uh, he had to overcome two things when he went to the pool so there were two things two very important things of his life which he had to um, overcome before he could learn swimming and what were these two things the two things were fear and pride now these are two very important things the author says why fear because of a childhood fear of water so this boy was very afraid of water he was afraid of drowning and this fear he had to overcome so that he could learn swimming and why pride he says he had very skinny legs very thin legs and he felt ashamed when he was in his swimming costume and so he thought that okay fine even if I have to overcome this this shame he had to give away his pride fine he just uh, overcame these two things so that he could learn swimming which was very important to him because he was afraid of water and this uh, uh, he tells us why was he so afraid of water uh, this is uh, the first misadventure of his life why are we calling it the first misadventure uh, you would come to know later because there is going to be a second incident in his life which changes his life actually it is a misadventure but the first misadventure was when he was three or four year old so he was a very small boy three or four year old boy and he went with his father to a beach in 
कैलिफोर्निया सो कैलिफोर्निया अगेन इज इन यू एस ए सो ही वेंट विद हिज फादर टू अ बीच इन कैलिफोर्निया एंड देयर वॉट हैपन्ड द वेव्स वेन ही वॉज स्टैंडिंग बाय द बीच विद हिज फादर द वेव्स हिट हिम एंड ही फेल्ट एज इफ ही वॉज कंप्लीटली एनगल्फ्ड इन वॉटर it was a choking sensation uh, this little boy was so afraid he was very afraid he thought he thought that he was going to die and this feeling of death was so strong that immediately he uh, felt terror of water even though this incident was nothing uh, to be afraid of because he says that his father his father was laughing at that time he could hear his father laughing which means that it was not something that he should have been afraid of but the waves when they came they were so strong and this little boy was swept a little by the waves and he was so afraid he thought that he was going to die and because of this episode when he was only 3 or 4 year old he had a deep deep fear of water but now that he has come to the pool now that he has come here he wants to learn swimming and slowly he started at the shallow end of the pool uh, and uh, he tells us that the shallow end was only 2 feet deep while uh, the deeper end was 9 uh, feet deep so it was not a uh, something to be afraid of he started at only 2 feet which is nothing and obviously a boy or of 10 or 11 year old would not drown in 2 feet of water so he started very very safely and then the second miss adventure happens which is very unfortunate because this boy is already so afraid and now an incident happens that one day he is alone at the pool sitting by the shallow end he is only sitting there he is not even swimming when an 18 year old boy who is a bully comes there and plays a prank on him so this boy is a bully he likes to torture young children he is a well built 18 year old old boy and when he sees the author sitting by the side of the pool he plays a prank on him what does he do he lifts him and throws him in the deeper end of the pool so now he does not know how to swim he just comes here uh, to swim in the shallow portion of the pool and this 18 year old old boy throws him in the deeper end of the pool it is just a prank he thinks that this is a big joke that he is playing on this small boy but it causes a extreme trauma to him so it is something that he had not expected it was so sudden uh, that he did not even have time to catch his breath he was thrown into the pool and now what happens is that he gives the author gives a vivid detail of his drowning so how did that episode affect him how did it take place it the author gives a vivid detail very very minute detail what went on in his mind how he experienced that fear of drowning once again in this pool it is